Welcome home, Raiders. Tonight, we got a little bit of everything, actually. Patch 7.3, Destiny 2, what? Amazing cinematics, and so much more as Convert to Raid presents the Battle.net News. Everybody, and welcome <laughs> uh, from the Battle.net News broadcast bunker in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today is August 29th. Man, it's almost September, guys, and it is now 10:15 in the PM Central Time. Thanks so much for joining us from around the Blizzard universe. And hello, my name is Pat Crane. I'll be your host, <laughs> and uh, as always, the players are here, as weird as they may be. First up. We'll go to, uh, from Lords of the Storm, <laughs> it's a show about Heroes of the Storm, it's Gizmo! Hey, how's it going, Pat? Good to be here again tonight. <laughs> is it? Ugh, is it? it we'll, is. we'll see. Uh, <laughs> we'll see as we get going. It's That's very true. <laughs> and from a whole bunch of bot podcasts, uh, some of which are over on blizzpro.com, and the other ones uh, we're, we're going to talk about probably coming up r2ocast.com uh that is john horseman hey johnny if you have not ever been part of, of a convert to raid pre-show you <laughs> need to do that once in your life just once sure. in your life call out over work tuck the kids in bed early uh sure whatever up your data plan on virgin <laughs> mobile and wow. you know, give, give, it a, give it a listen. Okay, that wasn't saying you're uh, all virgins. Wow. Well, no. well, well, we did talk about oh Game of Thrones. God. I don't know. Here if that, that, oh my that, god! Who knows yeah, exactly it, what's going on there? Well, welcome, fellas. Game welcome, of welcome, chat room. Welcome everybody out there. Uh, thanks for tuning in on another uh, very fun week uh, that we have. I mean, there's tons of news breaking left and right all week long. Uh, and uh, we're here to recap some of that for you and give give you our insights when we can. Um, and as, as always, I kind of want to touch base on what's been going on over the last uh, week or so with you fellas. Uh, and Gizmo, uh, what has been happening with you lately in game? Uh, in game, so I yeah. officially upgraded the internets again. I have good internet. I can play mini games now. I can stream mini games. You only get one hand. One clap. You in PUBG anymore. One clap. Yeah. I uh, I do play PUBG a lot, and I've been yeah. But now I don't it. have to carry you. Yeah. No, I've been wrecking it in PUBG. You've been but... wrecking. You've been wrecking yourself. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, the car, every car I drive. So, sure. Yes. Um, sure. But I've been playing a lot of PUBG Heroes mm -hmm. and. As of yesterday and today, yep. um, Destiny, Destiny, Destiny. Destiny, Destiny, Destiny. Destiny 2, not not the first Destiny. No, the first one. I don't. Uh, there's a second one? Just the first is there, one. Is there a second one coming out? It's actually just there, Destiny, okay. Destiny. If you go to a third one, then there I think is. It's, true. it's true. Halo 6, actually, <laughs> is what it ends up being. Uh, John, how about you, bud? Yes, sir. What has been going on with you? Woo, it's been a while, Pat. I know. I've been on has. my podcasting hiatus for the month of uh, August. Yeah. That's that's what this month is, right? Yep. So, Still. Uh, yeah, we've been chilling out, uh, just kind of relaxing, enjoying life, planning a wedding, playing Destiny. Right. Uh, get it, I got a new job. Congratulations. Cool. Um, thank you. This one pays. <laughs> <but> I'm casting. <laughs> right. You know. Right. <laughs> you know. How's, how's the weather this, you know, this month? Right. Uh, so we've got that going on. And then I actually, here's one thing I did want to talk about at the beginning. I'm actually doing a brand new podcast with Trevor May. He yeah, is from the one Twins. of the closing pitchers for the Minnesota Twins. Yeah. yeah. He had Tommy John surgery. Right. So he's getting paid $600,000 a year to uh, play a podcast with me and stream. Awesome. So, we do a podcast called uh, The Weekly Intake. We're both pretty salty dudes, and so we figured 
getting your uh, Saturday started with a splash of sodium. Right. You like that? That, that yep. That's like a Pat Crane thing for me. I'm like, what would Pat Crane <laughs> a say splash here? Of sodium. It, would be, it, would be, yeah. it would be something be... with alliteration. Uh, but we do that. Just uh, look on your podcast feeds, the weekly intake. Right. It's been a lot of fun. It's definitely not a hardcore podcast. I, I shared <laughs> I shared the story of uh, how I figured out that ERP does not stand for electronic role playing. And, uh, no, no, it does not. You know, no, it it does was not. very different. Oh, but <laughs> yeah, I got my I got my start on the internet. My debut on the internet was in a Yahoo, Lord of the Rings role playing chat room I as think, Aragon Orc Slayer. Yeah, I yes, think we've, we've mentioned we've this that. before. Yes, Orc with a yeah. K. Yeah, Orc with oh, a K. Yeah, I, yeah, yep, yeah, I yeah. did. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. so yeah, yeah we it. we talked about that a little that's bit. It. <laughs> Little did I know that that Arwen was not the Arwen I was looking for. Right. So, right. Hmm. Uh, so uh, how many shows of the weekly intake have you done now? Two. Okay. I And I heard a uh, portion of the first one, so I'm looking forward to, to hearing some more. But I was busy the last week yeah. um, because I was... So get this, guys. Uh, I was in Anaheim last week. At the Anaheim Convention Center. BlizzCon. I was at BlizzCon way early. Like, way early. Wrong dates. Yeah, yeah, I had my dates mixed up. No, it was... (laughs) (laughs) So it was for the Podcast Movement uh, 2017, which which, uh, was all about podcasting and blah, 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 blah. We had a booth there and, and everything went great. The whole week was really cool. Except for the fact that I was staying at the Hilton... And the thing was over at the Radisson, so I would go by the convention center every day. And guess what was missing from this entire experience other than 25,000 nerds? Like Boot going trucks. To... No, it was, it was those banners on the, uh, <laughs> on the convention center. You know, they have a banner for every game that's being, that's, that yeah. is being draped off of the building. And I didn't see that at all. It was like seeing the convention center naked. And I and I wasn't sure how I felt about that, fellas. I just <laughs> I don't know exactly what was going on, but it was cool to be there. And uh, I actually did get to go out to dinner with uh, with and I and I got a so I, I got a tour of uh, Blizzard HQ from Randy Jordan and uh, and uh, uh, Whammo. And it was so re- you had that, the whole the whole thing to yourself, pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much, nobody was there. There, were, there wasn't a big. Uh, the, I mean, there were a lot of people away at Gamescom, so I didn't necessarily get to see everybody over there. So it was, it was, uh, but it was, but it was really cool. We got to go around. All the things were in place. Last year, I went over there uh, before BlizzCon, and they had replaced all the statues with the, like the little uh, Funko Pop uh, mm-hmm. things. <laughs> they replaced these big, huge statues yep, with I these little six-inch. Uh, vinyls and stuff. So yeah, it was it was really bizarre. But this time we got to go all kind of all around campus and check out. We we saw the horde uh, motorcycle from the uh, from West the Coast thing. Choppers. Yeah, from yep. Choppers and from Azeroth Choppers. I wasn't and, West Coast. I don't remember. And well, it was Azeroth for yeah, yeah, yeah. for that particular mm-hmm. show. You saw you saw the next Squirrel WoW expansion. I saw that, so that that, was, that was good. Yep. Very um, good. And uh, a, a lot. We got to see a, a bunch inside of a bunch of uh, entryways of buildings. <laughs> <laughs> lots of ha- lots of hallways and lots of hallways. Artwork came from hallways. That's right. We saw lots of statues and stuff like that, and we got to hang out with my a couple favorite. Of great people. My favorite is the Blizzard Library. Yes, the Blizzard Library was Just very like cool. Thirty by. 20 room filled with just the most amazing video games and books of all time. Oh, it's, it's so at the same time. It very easily could have been like home to like four interns. Like that's, that's, (laughs) it's like the most obscure thing ever. It's like in game of Thrones, if you walk into a throne room and you've just got like a crappy wooden table and a bald guy just kind of sitting there going, Hey, what's up? Right. And then you realize that there's, you know, 
hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of books and games in there. Right. Uh, and so I'm, I'm, I'm reading chat right now. And so they said, do you, did you sneak into a top secret room? And the answer is, I would have loved yes. to. I would have loved to. <laughs> he and ran I know, away from his chaperone. <laughs> I know exactly which room I would have wanted to jump into, and that's the and that's the entire office that is being occupied by all those former WoW guys that are now working mm-hmm. on the top secret project. Right? What I'm calling mm-hmm. Titan 2.0. And uh, I, I have a story about that in a little bit. Uh, because because we were in Anaheim, so it, and because we were actually we drove down to Irvine and and did this tour thing, and and then uh, and wait, hold on a sec, one other thing. So also in chat they said they have their own Starbucks now over Blizz, over Blizzard, and that's true, and they have some badass chalk art on the on the chalkboards over there. So cool. Man, so I have my own Starbucks. Starbucks. I have a well met <laughs> Starbucks. Baristas. They're everywhere. <laughs> Troll baristas. <laughs> they Troll do. They, baristas. they uh they're known for never spelling people's names correctly and it's it's always different <laughs> on how they spell them. So But was, I thought I thought that they were um they were ogre baristas and they only serve two people at once and they'll so they'll say like uh Pat Zord and then you both get at the same time. No, that's, separated that's, by a little comma. Yeah, that's lame. Mm-hmm. That's lame. Apostrophe. Apostrophe <laughs> is the word. It's like the Cho'Gall. Not a comma. It's like the Cho'Gall of coffees. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah. but no, the tour was really great. Had a lot of fun. Got to see everybody. Uh, got to see every, all the community managers and stuff like that that were that were still there and were still <laughs> that were left in Irvine. Uh, and and so then later on went out to dinner. And I went out to dinner with uh, with Lore, cool guy, with Randy Jordan again, uh, with Sola Flay. Sola Flay came out and said hey, and yeah. said hey, 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 and dropped by and had a uh, drink or two. And uh, and Jules was there, and uh, actually Randy's family was there as well. And then also Brian Holinka stopped by and said hey. Oh, I know. And I asked him about Titan 2.0 and he said, I can neither confirm nor deny uh, <laughs> anything that is going on with me at all. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, dude, come on, come on. Just one little thing. And he's like, I may or may not be uh, still working at Blizzard. <laughs> I'm like, God, dude. He just, comes, he just comes there on his off days now. Ah, does. So yeah, <laughs> so it hangs out. But it was really great. Monday through Friday, had a lot of fun in Anaheim overall, uh, and uh, especially very cool to hang out with those guys for a little bit. And I, it was just a very, it was a very special afternoon and evening over at Blizzard. So it was very cool. So thanks to everybody over there for for indulging me. Um, let's see. We kind of alluded to it at the beginning of the show, but let's dive into the news. And uh, we'll start off with the one that we're all playing right now, or the one that we've all played today anyway. Uh, and that is, of course, what is it? John, what, what are we playing right now? You know, uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's I'm playing kind of everything, different, actually, but yeah, it's kind of different, but I, I think I can pop this one down for this one. Okay. All right. Oh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe I can't pop this down. It's okay. just like frozen. No, it's going right. to do. Well, I've got a cold train clip going this week in destiny. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh, there's, there's soundboard quit. They're right. reopened. There it goes. Oh man. There it goes. You know, so- and it's. Yeah. So, well, let's... There it is. This Week in Destiny. Mm-hmm. There it is. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, we're in. All right. We're in. We're good. So, now they have the PC uh, beta is up on the Battle.net launcher. Correct? Correct. It is. And, John... The what Blizzard is- Battle.net launcher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and... And Please yeah, don't as, as we talked about uh, last show, Battle.net is uh, is the thing that they're using. They they went back to that, and that makes me really glad that I'm lazy uh, about, <laughs> about the name of this show, Battle.net News. Right. Um, so, John, let's talk about Battle yeah. uh, Destiny Two uh, for a little bit. How are you liking it, especially on PC? Oh, Pat. <laughs> you, and which do you like better? Do you like PC or do you like console better? 
So I came in. So I'm a console purist. I got into gaming because of console. I wrecked plebs for a living on console. I didn't go to my uh, my senior year prom because Halo was on console. Yeah. So I, I'm very console biased when it comes to these things. And, uh, yeah. you know, and I'm, then you try the PC I'm, version and you're like, oh, where was where was this all my life? Right. Yeah, basically, <laughs> uh, I'm like, you know, uh, seeing something more than 30 frames is great. Mm-hmm. Having different quality options is amazing. Yep. Uh, having in in game text chat is amazing, but the game feels and looks so good. Patrick, it really does. That I just, I, I just don't really even like. It, I, I want to be the guy to be like, you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's not <laughs> that great. And mm-hmm. honestly, I'm playing. I, I spent two hundred dollars on this game because I bought the hundred dollar version on Xbox, okay, and then I bought the hundred dollar version on PC, okay. And yeah, I'm just like, you know, the the. I'm like, I, I might stay on Xbox, right? I might, you know, Katie plays you Xbox. Know. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I played this beta. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm just like, a refund, please. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very good. I don't want a refund. I still want to play for a month and a half on console and then wreck PC for the rest yep. of my days. Yep. Uh, it, it is very good. It is. It is good. I I really have enjoyed. I played through the opening. I mean, I haven't played very far into it. I've played you know maybe an hour or two of that today, essentially because not, because now I'm finally back into a place where I can actually play games. Uh, Gizmo, how do you like it? Because I know that you put a substantial amount of time in over a couple of hours anyway. So, uh, what is your been? What has your experience been like? Yeah, it's just been absolutely incredible. Like John said, it is an incredibly beautiful game, uh, and it runs great. The only worries I have is, one, I could have sworn they told us we weren't going to have this spaceship hub loading screen, and it's totally there. (laughs) Same thing. Hold on. Um, That's not what they said. That's not what they said. You don't have to go back to orbit to... Engage in the next activity. Oh, the okay, name okay. of my podcast is Return to Orbit, and it is as irrelevant as ever. <laughs> okay. So uh, <laughs> like, right. let me tell you, I've done the research. I'm like, nah, we got to go to orbit, right? Like we have to say Return <laughs> to Orbit like 15 times every time we play Destiny, right? I'm like, oh, crap. This might have been short-sighted. Well, time to rename to the uh, Destiny 2 News Right, you know, like convert to red, like you know, the, D, the, D, news, D, right? the D2N, yeah, yeah, I don't know, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, <laughs> you, you don't have to, but the beta is so limited, yeah, that right. you can't really launch other activities without, without canceling the activities you're currently in when you only have four activities to play. It makes sense why, uh, that is so, yeah, so, for sure. Let me, so, let me reassure you. So Gizmo, uh, what are the different game modes that you can play? Because I mean, there's the initial uh, campaign, I guess, that you can go through and you can clear, and that's really cool, uh, super immersive. Really liked it, and I should know about the initial campaign of Dest- <laughs> Destiny games because I only played the initial campaign of the uh, <laughs> first Destiny before I threw the controller halfway across the room and said, "Screw it, I'm out of here." Um, so. Other than that, what are the other game modes that you can actually play? Because there's a, there's a few different choices, right? Yeah, so other than the story, you can uh, do a not a strike, which is like their dungeons. It's a three-player strike. Uh, mm-hmm. And then there's two different PvP game modes you can do. Uh, you can do their control, mm-hmm. which is a three-point ABC control point. However, it doesn't, and I just discovered this today after playing it again, uh, it's not like typical control point games where uh, you gain points based on the amount of control points that you own, uh, that actually has no bearing. It's just kill multipliers. So if you have no points, it kills one. If you have one point, it kills two. 
and so on up till if you have all three then it kills four points nice. uh, and it's time based and cool. it keeps track of score that way nice so it adds a lot more uh, i think a unique strategy to it other than just you know holding on to a point sure. and then the other point which is actually my preferred uh is called countdown and from what i hear it's like the csgo uh game mode okay. but it is one life if you're you die you're dead for the round uh and you're either attacking or defending there's two points that you have to go either plant a bomb and defend it for a short time or uh, defend the enemy team from planting a bomb or you can just kill the enemy team. And it's 4v4 uh, on both of those. And they're super, super fun game modes. Um, mm -hmm. it, the skill level is much higher because it is on mouse and keyboard. Uh, the, the other criticism I was going to have, not necessarily a criticism, uh, some of the key binding is a little weird. It, it is, uh, a but little, thankfully, yep, it, it yeah, is a little awful. Yeah, I mean, you can but, you can remap it, so it's not like a big yeah. deal. But uh, but it's like a little the, strange. Like having C B, it's not for crouch; it's for something else, and I can't remember what it is. But um, control I was, is counts. Yeah, C is it, like it it's was weird. It was like something. It was melee. I yeah, think. Yeah. Yes, C yes. was melee. Yes. Control was crouch. It was just F is your super. That. B is your class ability. But you can remap that. And thankfully, I have sure. Naga, so it right. actually feels great to me now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, overall, it just it feels amazing. I'm still holding reservations about how much content is going to be at release. Uh, but I'm very hopeful. And again, it just it feels. It almost makes it feel like Destiny was the beta for Destiny 2. <laughs> That's that um, is kind of a good way of saying it because I I feel I kind of the same way. So I mean it's and you know it feels really fleshed out. I mean all the characters are great and like Cade is my favorite, but the I think that's only because he's it's Nathan Fillion doing the voice and all that kind of stuff. So hilarious. Yeah. Really really great. Um and so many familiar voices in that game. It's it's kind it's kind of annoying how familiar they are no not really it's amazing <laughs> how how familiar they are um pat are we gonna see you are you going to uh be a destiny 2 oh, player semi-consistently definitely so the way that i would put it is that you know at launch i would expect that i would play uh, a great deal especially of campaign mode or PVE style stuff, not necessarily PVP style, uh, because I think that that still would be no probably, junk rat. probably more, uh, that would probably be more on the overwatch side only because if you're going to play mm -hmm. overwatch, I mean, they don't have much in the way of PVE. So, <laughs> you know, uh, and I really, and I still really like that game. So, um, so yeah, I think that I would probably do, uh, dungeons and well, I don't know if it's dungeons. Is it dungeons? Is strikes that the way to say? and raids. Strikes and raids. Right. Okay. Sorry. Uh, so strikes and raids. raids on Destiny Two, and then do all my PvP content on uh, Hots and and Overwatch and stuff like that. So that's my guess. Speaking of strikes and raids, the best thing about this being on PC, yeah. it's going to be so much easier for people like us who play PC to do strikes and raids now. That was not an easy thing to do on console. Right. And um, well, I, I just find the whole thing to be a lot easier on PC. Just yeah. In general. The, well, <laughs> oh, they updated me. the app this week. They updated the Destiny app to the Destiny 2 app. And they, inter they integrated the, the clan stuff. And by the way, r2ocast.com slash clan. Go there. You, there sure. You've got an awesome community. Until the convert to raid one comes if no, the convert you know to raid clan ever I, comes to destiny i want to i want to push everybody over onto that uh, community over there i mean you're a part of the I, show well let's make that a, a part of our community so let's just do that kind of like how you know, we lords, didn't discuss that Pat's kinda, like kind of like kind of like how lords of the storm is our is our uh heroes uh community yeah. that we've that we embrace fully and and uh and i hope it's likewise uh, you know i just want to make sure that you know, we get these, especially these very specific communities. I want to make sure to to uh, yeah. to get them going. So you know, convert We've to raid. Got twenty. That, that could be that could be wow. Convert to raid. That could be yeah, wow. I don't need to manage. We've already more got communities. like <laughs> twenty five people in our clan. So r two o cast dot com slash clan. You, you can join up at least until you find 
the permanent place that you think is best to call home. It's been sure. awesome, though. I've been playing with a lot of people there. And uh, the clan system is pretty great because it you can access it from uh, the Destiny 2 app. You can access it from a browser. You've got built-in text chat into the game for clans coming soon, TM, uh, for PC at least. And that's really cool. They're really making it a community-centric game. And uh, I think if there's one thing that is really apparent with Destiny 2 is how, ma- how much they learned from World of Warcraft. We've already heard a lot about um, how you know Destiny 2 and WoW teams have been working together. Uh, Destiny 2 is going to have a uh, different mode, a difficulty mode called Prestige, mm-hmm. which, you know, think Mythic for a second. Right. Um, which is going to be great. You have that for strikes and raids. And so, you know, a lot of those types of things, the built-in clan system, the, um, the, they, they basically, they kind of have an LFG type thing now called, uh, guided games where you can, you know, if you have three people from your clan who want to play, you can bring in three people who aren't from your clan and help bring them through it and help create that community. It's a very community centric game, which I think was what uh, Destiny One lacked. It's not that it didn't have a community; it was that to engage with the community, you need to go to Reddit, DestinyTracker dot com, uh, all these different other third party websites and plugins to make it happen. You don't have to do that with Destiny Two. I think that's awesome. Even down to your Battle dot net friends being right there. Yep. In the game with you, I can see Gizmo playing Heroes of the Storm and be like, bruh, it's 2017. Come on, play some. I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> it's, it's a joke. It's a hot joke. Okay. But, uh, you know, there, there's it's really easy to get people involved in Destiny 2. It looks sure. a little weird. Looks a little weird on that launcher. You got that little horizontal white line and boom, there's yep. Destiny 2. It is weird. Besides that, it's awesome. And get involved, hang out, get the game, get the game. Sure. And Dazzle Dorn in in our chat does say that uh, uh, kind of something to to that extent of, you know, it feels weird because this is not a Blizzard game. This is an Activision game, right? And and so uh, Activision Bungie game, right? So it feels a little strange that it's on the Battle.net launcher and it doesn't feel like a Blizzard game. And so it's kind of like, I think that there might be this resistance for some people, but I just want to let you know, it is a very different game. It doesn't take away from any of those Blizzard games, uh, at all, at all. Uh, the only yeah. thing that it, the only thing that is similar at all is that it's a first person shooter like Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really the only thing that is anything like it, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh, everything else is well, everything like, else is so so specific to that game, right? And, and and that's the thing. The other thing I would say, if there's a company in the world that I think understands like the focus that it takes to be an excellent game designer, besides Blizzard, I think Bungie is up there as one of those. And with like the mentoring of Blizzard, you've got that polish of Blizzard on top of your Bungie game. Like, how freaking sweet is that? It's you're right. It's it's not uh, World of Warcraft. It's not Diablo. It's not a Hearthstone or an Overwatch. Mm-hmm. But man, it's right in the league up there. Once you get some of those brilliant people at Blizzard helping out and uh, it, it kind of showing you some of the things that they really learned again. So many lessons learned from World of Warcraft integrated into Destiny 2. I I I want to be yeah I want I'm I'm a, I'm a Blizzard purist all the way and I'm just like they really did a great job at integrating this and if there's any game that makes sense to be on the Battle.net Blizzard launcher TM. It is <laughs> Destiny 2. So, um, yeah. I, I think you're right. I think you're right. Gizmo. I will. I, I want to say one more thing. It, sure. be, we've been hyping this game up, and again, it is amazing. Yep. But I will say for not only those that are concerned, um, if you did not play the original Destiny, um, but you've been hearing about all this hype and stuff, and you're tempted to buy in, do not. Don't do it yet. Don't you play the free beta, but don't yeah, pre-order. Play the, play the free beta. Um, Absolutely, because, play the free beta. 
Yeah, because <clears throat> Destiny definitely had its issues. It got better. This is very hopeful for it getting better, uh, but there's no guarantee yet. So, Destiny. yeah, it looks amazing. I have super high hopes for it, but, you know, Destiny if did you have, are... They did have a bunch of issues when they launched. and, and Awful. Uh, and one of them was... Like vanilla issues. Yeah. You say you want vanilla servers, bruh. <laughs> Just go yeah. play Destiny they had, 1. They had a bunch of issues. Uh, one of them was... Dinklage, Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage. Uh, sorry. Um, and uh, so they, they managed to great. go through all that stuff. I know. I'm just I'm just giving them a hard time. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I mean, but do play the free beta. I think it's well worth it. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of I had a good can time add, playing the campaign. Can yeah. I add one more thing to this? One you last thing. Do it, you're one not going to say no. One last last thing. thing. So my name is Bife on YouTube. I just posted it in. Uh, Twitch created a 90 minute YouTube video on all the lore of Destiny 1 to get totally caught up. And it is the best, most comprehensive way to get caught up. If you're like, John, I want to get in Destiny 2. I'm worried that if I didn't play Destiny 1, I can't get into it. I'm going to miss too much of the story. Number one, Destiny 2 is almost totally different. But, uh, but, but number two, like, there's a lot of resources out there, but this is by far the best one. 90 minutes of your life, you probably know more than anybody who played Destiny 1 and didn't watch the video. So make sure make sure to do that. I don't know where else it'll be included, but my name is Bife, B-Y-F. It's awesome. It's everywhere. Holinka tweeted today. He said, hey, I want to get into Destiny 2, but I'm totally behind in Destiny 1. What do I do? Within 30 seconds, I responded with that video, and no joke, within about another 30 seconds, about seven other people responded and with I am that not, video. I am not saying really that good. this video is no good. I'm just saying that there's a lot of it. So I, uh, just, It's just 90 minutes. Weird. I know. It's 90 but imagine, minutes. Imagine being able to get caught up on the entire story of World of Warcraft in 90 minutes. It's, uh, I just yeah. I just worry about what's in front of me, man. If there's a monster in front of me, I'm gonna blow its head off. That's I mean, shoot it. That's what I'm gonna shoot do. It. Just I'm gonna just shoot load stuff. in and shoot it. I'm gonna shoot you won't stuff. Be lost in the if you don't face. watch this video, right? All right. I was I was super lost at the beginning of that. You started out saying, uh, "My name is Bife on YouTube." I was like, "What? That is way right. off from Kick Tripod. Where are you going?" <laughs> Bro. My name is uh, my, my name is Bife on YouTube. All right. <laughs> All right, yeah, we we really are, we are moving on because we have so much more to cover, like World of Warcraft. Oh, we're almost to my favorite part. Right, uh, World of Warcraft patch seven point three is live this week. They are uh, just coming off of the Gamescom hype, and uh, so seven point three live this week. So much going on with uh, with everything. We have the Netherlight Crucible. We have. Uh, the seat of, tri of the triumvirate dungeon, which is coming soon, TM. Um, we have invasion points, new spell animations, some of which are really cool, by the way. I was watching some of the new druid uh, spell animations. Kind of digging it. Kind of digging it. Uh, we have a bunch of new mounts. Uh, new oh, so good. New <laughs> which one's your favorite? Do you have a, do you have uh, a favorite? Yeah, the Shackled Urzul, which is unfortunate that it's the Mythic Difficulty uh, mount, but oh. that thing is nuts. Of course. I mean, like, everything that you that you really, really can't live without is is gated behind something that's really yeah. hard. <laughs> <laughs> like, the thing you can't live without, it's like, ah, it's for Mythic Raiders. Oh, yeah, I didn't. God. I was just scrolling down through them really fast, and I saw it, and I was like, oh, this one's cool, this one's cool, that one's awesome. Mm -hmm. I bet it's Mythic. Yep. Oh, sure enough, mm -hmm. it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, new weapon models. We have a legendary ring again, again with the legendary ring. Blizz, come on, <laughs> too <laughs> too soon maybe. Uh, <laughs> and uh, just a ton of uh, new story uh, characters coming back. Terralian coming back. Uh, it's it's kind of weird going to uh, going to Argus. And messing around over there, um, Gizmo, did, did, were you able to play around at all on seven three? No, no. Unfortunately, I no. I was super distracted by uh, other things this week, like Destiny. Destiny like well, <laughs> Destiny, and then of course, like Heroes has had a ton of uh, stuff come out on PTR and with balance changes. So right, 
Right. Um, I just want to talk about the uh, content unlock schedule just real quick. Um, now, week one, which is this week, we have the invasion of Ar Argus. And so you're going to uh, go talk with Valen and, and get underway in this little thing. And you're going to team up with uh, the Army of Light and, and take the fight to them. And Valen is becoming kind of a, 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 a mean mofo. A little bit. Yeah. As much as he can. I mean, he's still kind of guided by the light, so it's kind of, it's kind of tough. <laughs> he's still a nice guy. He's just starting to you know, have an edge to him a little bit. Uh, week two, we will finish the story of Crocoon. I think that's how you pronounce it. And... Uh, and we'll travel to the ruined Drenai city of, and I'm going to, I'm just going to pronounce it like I see it. It's McCree. I, <laughs> it's supposed to be Macquarie, but uh, with a little hyphen in there, but I'm just calling it McCree. It's high noon. High noon, everybody. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, so you'll get more and more uh world quests and invasion points and all this kind of stuff uh and then week three finish the argus storyline unlock all the world quests new dungeon is out uh and you activate your netherlight crucible which is a weird thing that's coming in on this uh on 7.3 which i still don't fully understand i'll be honest i've seen the videos for the netherlight crucible where you have choices about how you upgrade your weapons, your, your weapon. I'm looking forward to seeing I, how it comes out. I know, hmm. John, you're, you're kind of you, out of the you loop. You said Crucible, and I'm like, sweet, there's <laughs> another map in the Crucible in Destiny 2? <laughs> awesome. Right, right. I, I think I called this patch 7.4 in chat before the thing started, <laughs> you know? I'm right. like super into it right now. Let's be real, though. Uh, yeah. If I could be, if I could have been playing any game for like the last four months, it would have been a while. It, it would have been a while. It should have been. There's actually a lot of stuff going on, and and there's more story than ever. Should have, and, and you know, I'm it should have been, but Pat kept sending me party invites. I'm just like, I'm done. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's understandable. And especially after all of the, uh, after all of the interviews that Ian Hazakostas had. Uh, from Gamescom, there were several and uh, just loads of great stuff coming for 7.3. I'm really excited about it. Lots of story, lots of cool stuff. So as John backs away from the camera ever so slowly. Uh, <laughs> so Gizmo, does this entice you to, I know that you've been kind of out of it as well. Yeah. Uh, does this entice you to come back into it? Check it out. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, Argus is a place that I want to be in. Wow. It is, you know, the beginning of the Burning Legion. It's their home base. We're taking the fight to them. And, you know, we've talked about it several weeks now with uh, 7.2 and now 7.3. The catch-up mechanics in this game oh, as far as right. your uh, artifact weapons yeah. is in incredible. That was one of my biggest worries uh, whenever I stopped raiding. Um, was that I was just going to fall so far behind that it was, you know, so hard to to catch up. But they're making that really easy, uh, at least on you know yep. on one character, which will then go to other characters. So yep, um, yep. is will not and, even played the first. Well, and it's two but, well, <laughs> but it's kidding. cool. So so there's a couple of catch up mechanics that are pretty cool. So first of all, is artifact knowledge. Mm -hmm. As of this week, every single one ten is at artifact knowledge forty one. Uh, and that is very cool. Even a newbie, freshly minted 110, you are at Artifact Knowledge 41, which means that you can do a couple of world quests, get your first uh, first emissary cash, and pretty much load up on all the points that you ever wanted. Ever. <laughs> like ever. Uh, it's It's really super cool. And the other thing that they have done is they've taken, you know, all those Suramar, Suramar, Suramar <laughs> quests, the whole Suramar uh, quest line that yeah. goes on forever. And it's like, uh, it never ends. Well, they did something uh, at 7.3 where they just said, you know what? All deleted of that, them. No, no, they did not delete them because there's, because <laughs> it's it. actually, okay, I'm not because there's back. actually a lot of artifact power associated with that. 
Um, so what they, well, however, what they did do was they removed all of the rep that you need from that. So it's not going to be based on rep anymore. It's going to just be, you could play through the story and that's cool. I applaud Blizzard for that. I got to find my applause button, which is over on this other page over here. Uh, if I can find it, there it is. All right. So thank you, Blizz, for doing that. That's awesome. My alts, thank you. My DK and uh, uh, getting close on a demon hunter. Getting close on my regular hunter as well. They all thank you. So, <laughs> so there. Um, anything else on 7.3 that you guys want to cover? I know that there's there's so much going on. And if you guys really need a, a guide for all of the new things that are going on, where's your number one place for guides in World of Warcraft? I would say it's wow. Discord.gg slash convert to raid. Uh, sh- sh- sure. No. No. <laughs> okay. Well, I would say wowhead. Wowhead mm-hmm. is wowhead is your guide for World of Warcraft. They even have a guide for their guides. Uh, so they they made one. <laughs> a guide for your guides, right? Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> but, but if anybody would have one, it would be wowhead. So, so uh, that has all the guys. It has all the new stuff coming up. Uh, MMO champion uh, also uh, has uh, MMO champion also has some great write ups on all the all the stuff coming in for seven point three. Uh, really go through that and take a look. There's so many things coming in. Um, it's really hard to to talk about them one at a time, especially when we have so much other news. So much stuff this week, guys. I feel like there's yep. too much content. And we spent 35 minutes talking about Destiny 2, so you can yeah. tell how long this show is going to be. Right. It's going to be four hours long. Oof. Four uh, hours later. Oof. Rain check? Rain check? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Uh, but maybe we just go to Overwatch. Oh, this is my jam. That's right. Uh, and last week, Gamescom released... Uh, they released a new cinematic that was amazing. Um, amazing. <laughs> I knew I was going to get that from Yeah, John. I had that one ready. <laughs> right. Uh, but it was really... I, I have a soundboard that says Pat, and it's it was, just the first button is boo. That's it was, the only one. It was really, first. really cool. Cool. Anyone want a popsicle? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it was all about May and her backstory and about uh, how she kind of missed out on about nine years of her life. So Oof. it was. Uh, but she was frozen during that time. So she's not like she went in 27. Now she's 36. She's yeah. just 27, nine years later. Right. So. Right. Right. It was it was good. It was good. I I really liked the, watching that video. It it hit all the feels uh just right. Gizmo, what did oh, you think snowball. about? Snowball. I love uh, Snowball. Snowball was a ama- was so cute. I don't want to say amazing so again cuz I'll get bo- boot again. <laughs> I had uninstall ready. If Snowball didn't make it, I would I would never oh. touch Overwatch again. Oh, well, never this again. This is how would she not he not make it? He's in the uh, game it was like wall like, it, like, it was like, like even, three, in, yeah. even in the you know because there's like they're like in the origin skin i'm like reaper still has his face doesn't mean that all of his skins have his face and in present day he has his face uh, she could very easily have snowball <laughs> and not actually in irl have uh, snowball so i'm like if snowball dies here I uh, I am uninstalling. I'm not just like stopping being on the podcast. I'm deleting any trapes that the podcast ever existed. Sure. Uh, you know, I'm hacking into Overwatch League servers and I'm putting Pat on every single team. <laughs> you know, all that stuff, right? Like I right. am, I am furious. I have never been so ready to take up arms against a company than. Uh, seeing the uh, sacrifice of Snowball, it was, but it was but, so much like Wally, you know, and and like what Wally, a, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, and uh, that was really good. Thank you. <laughs> and it, so it was just, it just had all of those little things in there that that made you really care about this very 
um, remote destination of where May was at and and her her plight and and Snowball's heroism. May May could have died. May can die. Snowball like, was the honest. hero. It was so great. <laughs> if you're playing, if you're playing in like middle middle tier Overwatch, May can just die. Right. But Snowball, Snowball must lives persist. On. Right. Right. Yeah, I, uh, totally like get it. I'll start a cult. Totally get it. Uh, the, the, <laughs> another thing about Overwatch, and we should, we should, if you haven't seen it, watch it. It's on the, it's on the launcher. Just go, just go watch it. Uh, it's really, really awesome. Really good. John, this is yeah. kind of your area. Overwatch, I, I consider to be kind of one of your, one of your, uh, I'm not going to say you're an expert at it, but I'm going to say that you're a Whoa. real enthusiast over a lot of this. Yeah. You're a real enthusiast well, on leading me into backhanded <laughs> questions. I well, I think you know you know a lot about the game. You know a lot more than I do. That's for damn sure. Um, damn one straight. Of, one yeah. of the things that came in today was Deathmatch, though, and I did play that. Have you played Deathmatch? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Like they that. named Deathmatch after you because you just die so much. Right. I get it. Right. I, I. Yeah. I was on Team Deathmatch and we won. So I'm not saying I had anything to do with that. I'm just. <laughs> I, I was gonna say. I can it was a total. You it was a total to carry. I'm totally fine with that. Five, you know, two v three or five v six or whatever. Uh, yeah, what, so I what do you it. think? What do you think of deathmatch? It, it's a really interesting. So for those of you who haven't followed Overwatch a whole lot, uh, deathmatch has been a very polarized and um, hotly debated topic uh, for for Overwatch. Was is deathmatch and. Um, Initially, Jeff Kaplan basically said the deathmatch doesn't really work for Overwatch. And um, that was before we had the arcade. That was before we even really had PvE events. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, since then, they're like, hey, with the arcade and with PvE events, we can make deathmatch work. So here it is. Uh, it's really great. Really fun. Uh, except Super for fun. you, mercy mains. <laughs> yeah, God bless because <laughs> you you ain't playing deathmatch. Um, but besides <laughs> that, it, it's really cool. It's really well done. Um, it's exactly what you expect. It still feels to me very arcadey in, in oh, the yeah, sense yeah. that hey, this is really fun. In the same way that you know, playing the old tower defense Warcraft three mods were really fun. You well, know, it wasn't actually. And, because it was competitive and balanced, but it was just right. it was just fun. Well, it was one of those part of the games that you wanted to uh, play Doomfist in. It's definitely so. not balanced because you keep on seeing the same characters popping up all the time. You have Junkrat, you have Farah, you yeah. have uh, which was their initial Bastion point, right? Is yeah. like there's yeah. obvious winners and losers in this game, and right. there's no real advantage to switch and. You know, there's so many fundamental parts of Overwatch that don't work with Deathmatch as a permanent competitive game mode, but there are also uh, so many parts of it that work from a uh, from like an arcade perspective, a fun mm -hmm. perspective. Which, believe it or not, despite the fact that people are paying twenty million dollars to have their name on an Overwatch League sign. <laughs> Ultimately, the game's about fun, right? And so... Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Time out. Fun matters. Time out. Yes. Games are about fun? What are we, I mean, what are we doing here then, uh, fellas? Games are podcasts. Wrap it up. Aren't, let's go. As I'm learning. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> I had... I, I was very, very confused. Okay. Uh, yeah. Other than... Other, <laughs> other than Deathmatch, what else is going on in Overwatch? What else we got? Uh, so really quick, we've yeah. got some big welcome changes to competitive mode. So we're going from three month season to two month seasons, which I think is amazing uh, because I get to diamond and I just quit. Um, skill rating decay has been changes. So you only need five games per week at diamond or above to curb your decay. And instead of losing 50 SR, you only lose 25 SR, which is, Pretty great as well. Mm -hmm. And very hotly debated topic is the current uh, reporting system. The big thing that plagued season five in Overwatch was the fact that griefers 
throwers and one tricks dominated a good portion. I'm, I'm not going to say a majority, but a good portion, 25 percent is some of the the numbers that I've been seeing from uh, pro players and streamers. And they're addressing that. We're going to have to see if it ends up coming to, to, to fruition. But ultimately there is even a post to the top of uh, slash R slash uh, overwatch this morning was a guy who had finally been IP banned. So yeah. IP banned is literally when like, the re- the, the actual ban. physical connection right. to your ISP, your internet service provider, is revoked to the de- or not Destiny servers, the Overwatch servers. <laughs> or the Destiny It was servers. IP banned, but sure. it was only after like twenty three hundred reports. <laughs> what? Wow. Twenty three hundred. Wow. Reports. Wow. You know, you're, imagine driving down the highway, you're doing like, 110 and it's yeah. 65 and you get two phone calls, you're getting pulled over. But in this case, it's 2300. Wow. Before you get pulled over. It's it was like people are like this is broken. Oof. I don't enjoy this. Blizzard, please fix it. Right. We have an assurance from the good Lord Jeff Kaplan. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm confident that something's coming, coming. He doesn't say things like that if it's not coming, but still when he's like, Hey, he, cause the guy posts, he's like, I was banned for playing Torbjorn in quick play. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you're, you're just a, mm. like, if I saw you in real life, I'd give you a, a I'd firm give you, I'd give you shake, the what for? an elbow to the face. I'd give yeah. you the what for that's, that's what you call yeah, it. The what for the good the old what Minnesotan what for that's right. Uh, <laughs> and stuff, and he starts listing off. Here's why you were banned. You like you were reported 23 times. You were muted 12 times. You were, oh, man. uh, Called a Sally 98 wow. times. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right. <laughs> it's like people start right. calling you Sally. We're we're trying yeah. we're trying to keep this show clean, so maybe we should move on to Sorry. <laughs> something. I did not mean to swear. Right. <laughs> right. Sorry to anybody named right. Sally. Right, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, but anyways, it, it, it was it was great. That that's the big changes to season six coming up. Right. And hopefully more seasons. And also Mercy has totally changed. Um <laughs> wait, wait, wait. totally changed all i'm gonna say is resurrect one person every 30 seconds okay i have no. a question for you oh okay here we yeah. go so when deathmatch came out i was worried about the mercies people were like no 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 it's not going to be a big deal uh because her ult it's an ultimate and the chances of you getting you know even three other reses from that from an ultimate is really low uh deathmatch every 30 seconds bringing somebody back taking a point off the other the team's board is that not a big deal? No, it's not a big deal. Okay, it is it's not. not. It's not a big it deal is because not, it is. I would say it like silver, gold, low to medium platinum. It 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 can be a very big factor with a skilled mercy, but above that, you just kill the mercy. <laughs> she can't do anything. Right. Well, and and you know, like deathmatch and stuff like that. Those those are going pretty fast. Um, yeah. And the deaths are kind of rolling in real, real quick. So yeah, I don't, th- I don't think there's, yeah, there's no respawns. There's just, no. it's just like ping, 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 ping. It's bowling. Right. Okay. Pins. Okay. Right. Bowling I mean, done. I, I think I was in, I mean, the, like the, the team death match ones, the one that, the ones that I've been in have been like five to seven minutes somewhere in there. I don't know. Maybe a little bit longer. Maybe a little bit less because you die right away, though. Because well, because I'm on the team, so of course, it's usually like six to eight minutes when you don't have Pat on your right, team. Right, right. So, <laughs> so I mean, if you're talking about one res every thirty seconds, that that really doesn't add up to much. So, okay, fair enough. Just, just saying. All right, let's move on to. I'm gonna go with uh, Heroes of the Storm. Turned up to 11. That's right. Uh, Gizmo, you are the person that we turn to for Heroes of the Storm news because you know all the things about Heroes of the Storm. Uh, That's a lot of pressure. I know a lot well, of I don't know about, about I don't know about all the things, but you know <laughs> many of the things about Heroes something. of the Storm. Uh, and wh- what has your latest uh, reporting told you? <laughs> yeah. Because so... you report all this stuff. <laughs> 
Um, so we talked about a lot of the stuff last week. Yeah. There wasn't really much added that was uh, not in the preview. Uh, besides, you know, Kilthazad being in PTR now, along with a lot of uh, the other PTR KT. changes to heroes. The other KTs yes, well, we're calling. Okay, we're going to settle, settle this year. Oh, so, and this is right. coming from the heroes team. Yeah. Kilthazad yeah. is KT. Okay. Uh, and Kalthas is Kale. Ah, so, all right. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard, okay. but um, right. yes. So KT Kelthazad, not Kalthas. Uh-huh. So we're gonna call him KT from now on. He is in the PTR, which again was one of the most anticipated heroes. He's like, finally here. He's like OG KT. Yes, it's like- <laughs> OG with with uh, with his little cat, um, Mister Mister. Magoops. Not Bojangles. Nah, I don't the know. Bojangles? My Bojangles. Know. Something with B. Go, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> but there's a couple really cool things that came with that, apart from the sweet skins, including Dreadlord Jaina. Uh, this was such a big deal, getting KT, KT in the game, that they've uh, done some of these in the past for several of their games. Uh, but they're actually doing a YouTube series. I believe it's five parts, maybe six parts. Wow. Uh, called resurrecting uh, Kelthazad, and it's just going through talking about you know how this is this is a character that's been in there, um, you know, in Blizzard for twenty years. He hasn't been you know really touched since uh, World of Warcraft, and this was their first time bringing him back. So <clears throat> they're actually on episode two now that uh, you can watch on YouTube. It is on the launcher, uh, and it's just it's really neat. They have a whole bunch of people from. All the different teams talking about uh, Kelthazad and just you know how they brought him to yeah, heroes. Yeah, really cool. Very um, cool. Speaking on Kelthazad himself, yeah. I have played him in the PTR, and he is super fun. Cool. He is. So he's bad. No. <laughs> well, so he he's not like, bad. It's like when you introduce uh, somebody to a prospective mate. <laughs> and you're like, this person is really fun. And you're like, oh, so no, I mean, he's a, a, I mean, he's a total jerk. They're not very attractive. I mean, he's a total yeah. jerk. Right. <laughs> there, there is a but here. Um, he may be, yes, <laughs> he, he may be, you know, Look out for that butt. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, he has no butt. He's just bounce. There's no, no one there. No right. glutes. Um, he may be both comp and map dependent. It's a little early to tell right now. Mm-hmm. And he is one of the highest skill cap heroes out there, which I thought he was going to be. Uh Um, I'm an awful medieval, so medieval is harder for me, but I would dare say maybe he, his skill cap might be harder just because of the fact um, we talked about his quest traits uh, last week in the fact that stacking that getting your 30 stacks of blight, which you get a stack for hitting heroes with two of your abilities. Um, is very very important because he does not scale like the other heroes. Uh, other heroes scale at four percent per level. I think they said he scales around two point five percent. So if you are not able to complete that quest fast, mm. uh, it is going to be a rough game for you. You're not going to have the damage, uh, which is why he's kind of map for sure map uh, dependent because you need a map where there's a lot of team fighting to get those stacks. So I, so the, what you're saying is that Crane probably shouldn't play this guy. Oh, you you can for sure play him, uh, just not with me. Just not uh, with no. me. <laughs> it's on the other uh, team. You know, I yeah, hear that you know, so much, guys. <laughs> <sighs> it, you know, there's a mode, you know, gotta called just, AI out there. Gotta just brush that off. Haters gonna hate. <laughs> oh, you can play play KT anytime. All right. Um, <laughs> but wait, is, he, are you talking Kalthos or are you ca- talking? Uh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, either, either or more. tripod. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> that one too. <laughs> Um, but the combos he can pull off are absolutely insane. And that's, that is, you almost have to pull them off and that's where the, the skill cap comes from as well. Um, but along with that, there were some pretty big changes to four heroes in the PTR as well. Mm-hmm. And that's Chromie, Jaina, Morales, and Leoric. Uh, the most notable, I think that stuck out to people first is Morales no longer has mana she switched over to energy. Oh, wow. Um, in that, yeah. So uh, I haven't been able to play her yet. I've watched some streams. From what I can tell, this is a pretty big nerf. Uh, granted, they'll be able to balance the system. Um, but it is going to, I think the overall goal is to 
just limit the amount of healing she can do because when you played against her, it made team fights so long and you could, you know, own a team. But if you don't down somebody, they're going to go back and be at, back at full health in three, four seconds and rejoin the fight. Um, so I think people were saying if you channel your healing beam on someone, uh-huh. it is 17 seconds or something like that to go empty. Okay. And then it's about 20 seconds to regain max energy. Okay. And I just uh, want to, I just want to take a uh, short break here. And just mm-hmm. note for the uh, for the audio people, if you want to see uh, the lovely Choji, uh, great <laughs> a a, great dog, just go watch the video right about this time, a little bit before this time, and and you'll see Choji oh, up and uh, so cute licking John he's in the so face. Uh, so <laughs> you see a bushy tail on the back now. Uh, such a big boy oh, too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's one hundred and thirty three pounds. Cool. Whoa. That is huge. Yeah. I think that, you know, big, actually big that outweighs both of my dogs together. So, <laughs> <laughs> so there, so there yeah. you go. Uh, okay. So sorry about that. What else oh, is no going, what else is going on with, uh, with the uh, heroes? Yeah. So, um, speaking of Choji weighing 133 pounds, <laughs> that also, uh, outweighs Chromie, uh, who's well, a small gnome, at least yes. in her gnome form. Yes. Cause she's actually a dragon, you know? Yes. Uh, but she got big changes as well. Kind of one of the bread and butters to her kits uh, before was piercing sands, mm-hmm. which was a talent that made your, you know, sand blast pierce and hit two targets. That's actually um, kind of been built in to a quest. Now, there is still piercing sands, uh-huh. um, but it's built into a quest to where each sand blast that you hit somebody is going to increase the damage. Mm-hmm. Um you know, if you hit 80 heroes with Sandblast, hitting with consecutive casts is going to count as two hits. Uh, so it's okay. going to do, you know, more and more damage just stack up over time. So it's kind of raising the skill cap on her. So are they uh, So are they starting to do this more and more? I mean, where they're doing kind of this uh, uh, quest rogue? No, nope, it's not a quest rogue. Uh, <laughs> where they're doing this quest hero type of thing more and more? They are definitely okay. doing it more. Okay. Um, not all the time. The For sure. a lot of a lot of times when they're adding it on old heroes now, it's kind of you know they started out taking talents and building them into the base kit, and now they're doing kind of just adding a quest feature to that. So the main reason I believe they're doing this um, is it doesn't change the hero a ton, but what it does do is going to reward players who main those heroes. Sure. Uh, and it's kind of going to give right. you more of an ability to, you know, this is a team based game it can be really frustrating in Hero League because you cannot have the impact that you can in, say, a game like League of Legends. This is kind of give, you know, putting the ball in your hands a little bit more because if you're good, you can cre- or complete these quests faster sure. and have that damage earlier on and kind of, you know, help your team more that way, and uh, it, which is, is really neat. It really does remind me of Hearthstone, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they came out with the quest rogue and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I don't know, I, but I'm glad that they're trying stuff and and hopefully it's working well for them and and hopefully uh-huh. it's working well for all the players out there because I I think that it's always just kind of nice to to have a different play style every once in a while, be yeah. able to change it up. So that's cool, especially when you have so many ding dang heroes out there, um, and you can kind of have your choice of what you want. Why not make some of them? way different yeah Yeah. for sure yeah um the the last two and guys there's so many changes on these heroes i'm just hitting teeny tiny high notes the high notes the high notes if you want to get in depth what you're saying is you should go to lords of the storm where you're going to be talking about this more and more exactly right we're going to be talking about it so much Uh, Uh, (laughs) Lord of the Storm is a podcast Oh that's how podcasts work Okay what else Other high notes that that you're going to be covering on Lords of the Storm Yes um, Jaina (laughs) also having a quest Added to her trait The Dreadlord Um, of course Yes Dreadlord Jaina which again amazing skin I'll say that every time Dreadlord Jaina comes up Totally cool Um, But her quest is once you deal 15,000 damage To chilled enemy heroes Mm -hmm. Um then you gain ice block now. That's no longer a talent. Oh, awesome. So it's, yeah, it, again, you know, get that down or damage done early, you're rewarded for it. Um, and then Leoric, I know a lot of people can get mad at me for this if you main Leoric because he had a lot bigger changes, 
But the one that stuck out mainly to me is uh, they changed how his auto attack works. Uh, his first two basic attacks are going to cleave for 100% uh, damage, and his third basic attack is going to deal 100% additional damage to uh, main target. And that kind of just fits his animation better. Mm -hmm. So that's a really cool change. But again, there is a ton of changes on there, which we will go more in depth on. Uh, the last thing that okay. kind of came out of Gamescom here. Yeah. Uh, Alan DeBeery has been head of the HOTS team for a while now. Mm -hmm. um, and he is not he has not been nearly as public as Dustin Browder was okay. as far as you know, Twitter and videos and things like that. Uh, but he was very, you know, up front and center at Gamescom. They were doing a whole bunch of AMAs uh, and video questions, things like that. Uh, but there was also uh, an interview with him that is really, really neat here. If you've been playing, you know, Heroes 2.0 was a big deal. Uh, it's really added a lot to the game. Uh, and I just want to read a quick quote here from him. Uh, he says, there's something about being involved like a moment or in a moment like Heroes 2.0 that I think we can uniquely capture, and we can do that by bringing some major changes to the game. So you're going to see us do stuff, not exactly the same way as 2.0, so I'm not saying 3.0, but we're going to have bigger moments in the future. Mm. So, in awesome. I, yeah, I, I, I can't even think of what that would be besides, you know, what pops into my head is the map editor that they've been talking about. Sure. Uh, being able to, you know, build tournaments in game have that tournament structure laid out mm -hmm. uh clan systems and you know ways better team building for team league um right I, i'm just so it's so what possibly. you're saying is it's not going to be so it's heroes 2.0 right now right it's yes. not going to be hots 3.0 it's going to be more like uh hots 2.5 yeah i don't i don't know <laughs> This this also makes me question the Heroes 2.0 thing. Like, are we, are we, is are we, is this just, is this a patch now? Is this what we're going to be doing? Like expansions, like Heroes 2.3 for whatever reason. Yes. Uh, or is exactly it just forever right. Heroes 2.0 now? I don't know. That's, a, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Uh, so so there. But that's cool. That's that's really cool. I'm I'm glad to hear that there may be some big changes in the future, and I'm guessing that they might talk about those at BlizzCon. What? No, no of course they won't. They never talk about anything at BlizzCon. Nope. Mm -mm. Never. Um, and we should talk about that at some point. We'll talk about predictions to BlizzCon and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's pretty cool. And they, by the way, BlizzCon. Just quick note: they released a little bit more of that key art, right? So we had we had uh, Jaina. Who else was in that? Probius. Weird choice. Probius, yeah, it's he's so cute though. He's like Wally. He, he is. He's uh, like Snowball. I, I, I want a Probius plushie. I'm pretty sure there is a probe plushie from StarCraft, but Pro probably. He probably. he is cute. I think that's already in the works. All right, so that's Heroes of the Storm. We should probably move on to another uh, one that had some announcements at Gamescom, especially a cinematic, and that would be Hearthstone. Well met. That's right. Hey, John, you have a podcast about uh, about Hearthstone. Yep. And Still really proud of the naming for that one. And it's yeah. called Well Met. It's weird it that I have that kind of queued up. So You've never done that before. <laughs> never. That's the only Hearthstone one, that, the, the only purely Hearthstone one that I have on my on my soundboard. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's so fitting. I think that may, it that may be it. Right. It works. It works. Um, it's a great so, name for anything. So, John, we had a wonderful cinematic from the Hearthstone team uh, that was released at Gamescom, mm -hmm. right? Yes! So, <laughs> yes! uh... Mm -hmm. yeah. No one black like this gun. Yeah, it was totally Beauty the Beast style. Uh... I mm -hmm. totally don't know the words at all. Nope. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got our first uh, Hearthstone like cinematic, cinematic. I would say since um, since ever. It was like it's the Pixar style Overwatch short cinematic style, not like mm -hmm. ooh this weird like animated still image with multiple layers and depth. It was and it was very uh, Disney be our guest type of thing. It was very, yeah. You know, it was very much like that. if Pixar did Beauty of the Beast and they did the Gaston song. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Nailed it, right? Right. The, right. The, 
more perfect sentence has never been formed. <laughs> uh, so uh, that went on and it was really great. And they said that this is going to lead into more shorts and comics. I personally believe that uh, this is kind of an introduction to a better, more transparent, out of game, new player experience. Uh, Ava, who is like the the central character in the short, like is starving little red riding hood style in the middle of the woods and snowing out finds this, all this stuff. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very cold, cold outside. Yeah. yeah. It is cold out. You know, crazy old Maurice <laughs> is kind of, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's very much right. that feeling. Right. And as uh, she finds a hearthstone box because of a mouse. <laughs> of course. Of course it's because of a mouse. Uh, let me make sense for you. So Little Red Riding Hood, <laughs> mouse, hearthstone box, snow, mm-hmm. forest. Perfect. Is where we're at. Perfect. Yeah. So you're you're up to date. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me, yep. Choji. Trying to trying to be eloquent here. <laughs> um <laughs> so yeah, anyways, the, the the short it's awesome. They go through a big awesome musical number. Also, the musical number was the weakest part of the short. Right. Uh, not good, not great. Good, not great. Yeah. The characters were good. Uh, the, they did a lot with characters, a lot of different characters. Character voices. Were great. The animations was great. The Beautiful. actual music, I think, was good. Yeah. I think it was just like the was, lyrics and it, it was the very, melody that it was they chose. Very salesy, you know, it, or maybe formulaic. I, I'm not sure exactly what I would say it was, but I mean, it was just, it was, it, it a was the heavy, Gaston little, pub song, but worse, a little heavy handed perhaps. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. But it wasn't, but anyways, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It was just kind of, uh, you know, who cares about this? It wasn't bad. The it's tune difficult. Was, the it's tune not, was cool. It's not easy. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, and it's not easy what they were trying to do and what no. they did. So right. I, it was a huge victory for the team. Yeah. But like when you compare it to like another musical short, I oh, it's not going to win a Grammy. Right. Is what I'll say. It's not it's not winning <laughs> any awards. No. No. Uh, right. right. At least those types of awards, maybe some gaming awards, but like not 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 like a, a, a Grammy. Yeah. So it, they're not going to win they're not going to win an EGOT off of this. Award, they're not going to win the, no the Frozen. Whole, Right. Yeah, it's no frozen. Yeah, it's no frozen. <laughs> <laughs> or so, I mean it kind of is, but you know. uh, a little bit in the it, beginning. It is. Which then they then they warm up. Dies at the end. Then they have a so, uh, sit by the fire. <laughs> right. The the most but, important part about this cinematic was mm-hmm. we found out what the true lore behind Hearthstone is, uh, thanks to somebody on Twitter. I don't remember who. But it's actually and it's really dark. Um it is a girl who is dying of hypothermia hallucinating uh right. as she's asleep <laughs> no. and she wakes no. up and finds this mouse in no. this box and it teleports her to this tavern no. with all these creatures and they're playing cards and getting along um so it's you know no. it's a hypothermia hallucination that's what hearthstone I is i can't even do this <laughs> that's so dark that's so dark. and i guess it was uh it was spencer Spencer, uh, it's, it, you are a. Oh, um, oh thank Spencer. you for posting that. Oh, uh, hypothermic hallucinations. Hypothermic. Like, right before, like show. right before yeah. she, like right before the final sleep. This yeah, is, uh, she's this just. She goes to her happy oh, place, which happens to so talking dark. House and cards. That is so dark. I'm so glad that we're almost to the end of the show. It's it's <laughs> hypothermic <laughs> solutions, aka hearth. Stone, yeah, no. uh-huh. that's how it all happens. Yeah. So, wow, yeah. that's dark. I didn't, wow. I didn't see wow. it that way. I just, I just, you know, Yikes. I can't unsee you know, it. That suspended way. my disbelief that. for a moment. Well, now and none of us can unsee that. Teleporting. Thanks a lot, Gizmo, Fox. for bringing that. Yeah, up. That, that, Thanks, that happened Spencer. at Gamescom. It was, it was amazing. It was, it was an amazing short. Make sure to check it out. We also got it some. Was- uh, now I want to rewatch it. We have Hearthstone. <laughs> we have Hearthstone raids. <laughs> I know. See if you can spot yeah. like the point where uh, you know the hypothermia starts kicking <laughs> in. I don't John, like this, this is for you. May yeah. also died of hypothermia, but her hallucination. Or no, no. I'm sorry. May died, but Snowball also died. 
Um, Snowball did die. May is hallucinating that Snowball is still with her, and they're walking out happily. Listen, ever see happy. now, th- it's all, all being this doom a and gloom or hypothermic. <laughs> yeah, that that's so like 1986. Mm-hmm. At this point, like we don't do if any movie, TV show, game ends in it all being a dream or they were dead <laughs> all along. Like uh, the lost the, ending. Yeah. Unsubscribe. No. Yeah. Right. Right. It's, Not doing it's, that. it's really Although, lazy. The funny thing about the podcast, this podcast, though, at the end of it all, we were all just, we all just had hypothermia. So. Just, however, <laughs> I will say this with all the hypothermia talk, I'm really ready for BlizzCon. <laughs> I'm really ready for that. All right. Let's, yeah. let's get back to like real life. Uh, a little bit, and let's talk about uh, uh, continue talking about Hearthstone, John. What it, what else is going on with Hearthstone that we should talk about that's not related to hypothermia? Is there anything Loosely else? Loosely related yeah. to hypothermia, okay. uh, not really. The only thing that they've said is that you know to kind of keep to the um, like the really the really uh, focused nature of the different platforms for Hearthstone. We aren't going to see these characters in the game itself. So uh, don't be expecting to see Ava and Urk and the mouse named Sarge in the game. Okay, It's not happening. We also did get uh, Hearthstone Raids are, are coming, which oh. they kind of debuted at Gamescom. Yeah. You had to beat the Lich King. One million damage is what needed to be done to defeat the Lich King at Gamescom. Wow. And uh, I think they I think they defeated him. But you'll also be able to have uh, the uh, other, these big raid type um, uh, events, I guess, Hearthstone events. You can uh, launch them at your Fireside gathering. So, so, oh, uh, so that's only available through Fireside? Maybe Tavern Brawl. They might make sure. that happen through Tavern Brawl too. Um, Man, I, I, I mean, I'm the only thing. I, yeah, I'm so interested in how rating actually works in in a Hearthstone or actually in any card game, really. And the only way that I found that I really liked it was with the uh, Five Minute Dungeon board game. So sweet, so fun. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like what Hearthstone <laughs> rating is, is you just try to do as much damage as possible. Right. To the boss right. before you die. Right. And then everybody's games yeah. adds up. And if you I feel like I should kill talk it, to, you, you kill them. Right. I feel like I should talk to the guys over at Five Minute Dungeon <laughs> about working on their team or something like that. Dungeon. I love their game. I love the I game thought that so that much. Was when, I thought that's when I had really had to go to the bathroom, like a, a number two. <laughs> sure. Oh, wow. Like the movie's about to start at mm-hmm. the movie theater. Mm-hmm. You're in a five minute dungeon. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go. I, I need to. I need. I need to see Ryan Reynolds and oh, Samuel L. Jackson right. uh, traverse the entire United States and like whatever else they're in. Mm-hmm. Be the hitman's bodyguard. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, uh, John. Guess what you get? You get Dork, Dork of, the, of week. the Week. There you go. Oh, so good. Didn't see that one. It was either wow. that. It was either that or this one. Yeah, dipstick. One way or the other. Ooh, I like Dork of the Week. Yeah, Dork of the Week is pretty good. All right, let's talk a little bit of uh, esports. Let's roll. Let's do it. Uh, now, I believe that what we have here is we have a lot of Overwatch uh, news, John. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want me to talk again. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. you've already oh, got Dork I of the Week. Keep so it to I think. forty-five seconds. Okay. I can keep it okay. five seconds. Okay, go ahead. So first, World Cup playoff matches have been revealed. Surprise, surprise, and not really surprise, but holy crap, this kind of sucks. Uh, the United States and South Korea will be facing off Woo. in the semifinals. So round one, you're going to see both of those teams face off. GG, well played. Uh, South Korea wins World Cup because uh, probably United States was that's the a, only team that could uh, a tough actually first round. Yeah, it's it the the whoever wins that match wins everything All right. e- easily. You can take that one to the bank, Carl. Okay, uh, go ahead and feel free to leave a YouTube comment later on if that's not the truth, but it is. So we've got that. The second thing, and this is pretty cool. 
Uh, Overwatch League franchises hold franchise holders must build new team brands. Yep. Uh, for Overwatch League, so you can't have uh, Immortals, which is a, a uh, Overwatch League team. Immortals owns one of the LA teams, I believe. So it'll believe. be the uh, the the it'll London be the LA Immortals, the London Shock. Yeah, or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, it'll be the I, one of the Feel data mine team names was the Shanghai Dragons. Very creative, wow. sure. Uh, sure. Very, very creative. So right. uh, that's going to be really cool, though. But they're developing new brands, and basically, the name of the region or the city needs to be in the name. So right. uh, that you know, it's like it's not like you know. Imagine the Minnesota Twins being the who owns the Twins now these days. I don't know. Nobody. I don't nobody know. knows. But yeah, yeah, the, the the <laughs> the Frankie Mc, McFranks. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. Snow shovelers. You know, like it's it. Yeah, it's yeah. not that. It, it's no, tied yeah. to the region, so there's more regional buy-in, yeah. which I is you. I think really interesting. I think another thing, like I I don't think that this is a surprise to any of the franchises. Like, there's no way that Immortals. Or Cloud9 goes in, buys an Overwatch League slot, and then uh, they're like, well, we'll, well, wait, we have to put uh, London in our name or we have to put LA in our name? I don't think that's the case. But um, it, is a, it is a surprise. Not, not a surprise, but I would say it's a welcome, uh, it's a happy surprise that that's going to be happening. I think if you're a fan of the Overwatch League, or a fan of esports, you should be excited by this. Sure, I think that they it's should it. just have uh, team names based off of. Uh, remember the, uh, the the arcade game Cyberball? No, I'm twenty. <laughs> it's like Marble <laughs> Madness. Uh, yeah, it's it's an old game. <laughs> I don't even remember <laughs> what the teams were, but I, but you, they should be based off of like video games like that. Just whatever. Who cares? Like not not your normal like team names like the Cardinals. Or the tigers, or uh, some other animal. Nope, I think it should be something weird, like the London Shock, like what I was. Or maybe like, maybe like uh, XFL teams. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably yeah, not, but no. Probably not gonna happen. Yeah, but no. Probably not gonna happen. Uh, any hots, uh, esports stuff going on, Gizmo? Yeah, so uh, we are just back into week seven now of phase two. This is the second week after uh, the uh, Eastern Western clashes happened. Um, so Gale Force Esports, Roll20, Team Freedom, still top three spots for uh, North America. I did want to give an update here on a couple of the team changes that we had. Um, so we did have uh, Space Station Gaming. Uh, oh my gosh, why can't I think of who... They picked up because oh their team's gone now, and I can't remember the name. But they're Space Station Gaming now. But the big question we had was Noventic with the changes to the organization. Um, we have confirmed now they did, in fact, they're no longer involved in uh, Heroes of the Storm. So the Noventic roster still stands. They're still competing, and they have changed their name to Lag Force. Which, Lag Force? Lag Force, and wow. it's a sloth. Okay. Um, Sponsored by Comcast. The best thing about this name, <laughs> the best thing about this name is I'm a hundred percent sure their in-game names now are going to be Lag F and then their name, so Lag oh. Which, if you watch HGC at all, um, Lag has become like the latest meme from Zuna dying to a tower and then claiming he tried typing Lag while he died, but it was Lag if. Mm -hmm. um, so that that became the meme. So now they have embraced the meme, and they are now lagif. I think it should be brought to you by Comcast or some other. <laughs> <laughs> I get to change yeah, my auto Don't say That'd that. Be great. That'd be great. On uh, if you have an iPhone, I'm sure you can do this on Android too. Go into your keyboard, make mm -hmm. a shortcut, type in lag, and then type Comcast after it. So you do. So every time you type in lag, it just says Comcast. Right. There you go. What you do. There you go. All right, we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but before we do, sure? but before we do, let's talk to the guys and see what's going on this week. Uh, coming up and find out how you can be involved in what they're doing. And we'll start off with uh, Gizmo. <laughs> you got the show yeah, tomorrow, so right? Funny. You got you got you got Lords of the Storm tomorrow. Yes, we do have Lords of the Storm tomorrow. Where again, we're going to be covering uh, a lot of the stuff. Uh, <laughs> yes, 
Wednesdays, 9 yep. p.m. Central. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be covering a lot of the Gamescom stuff again. We'll be having a discussion on maps, potentially. Um, awesome. And it's a good time. So check that out. If you want to watch me streaming all the games, you can find me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, all those things at Gizmozord. Yep. Uh, and yeah, I want to give a special shout out here uh, just because I've been talking about lag force and lagging all the time. So lagging balls because they're an awesome podcast. And this yeah. has been on the show a couple times. Yeah. So check out Lagging Balls. And, and uh, I think she's still in the uh, chat room. And I saw Thorne around earlier as well. So make sure to go check those guys out. Uh, Johnny, what's going on in uh, in your worlds? I know you've got Return I don't even know so you've got, that. So you've got the Return to Orbit podcast, right? Over at the R- Return to Orbit. Over yep. at R2Ocast.com. You've got, yep. uh, you've got the weekly intake now with Trevor May from the Minnesota Twins. Ooh. You, could, yeah, you yep. could ask him who owns it. Uh, <laughs> he might know. He might know. He'll just look at his yeah. at the at the big paycheck that he gets and just go, "Oh yeah, it's that guy." <laughs> uh, and you've got uh, the podcast over at BlizzPro.com. You've got uh, Well Met and yep. uh, in the payload and all that Z kind payload. of good stuff. Yep. Uh, what else is going on? Anything else? You're are you streaming? anymore streaming a I know little you got bit a, you, got a, some you got a job and congratulations on that so you know thank you yep. yeah thank you um i'm really excited the place where i'm working i don't have to wear shoes yeah so, uh that's pretty exciting i do have to wear socks um so i'm pretty excited about that but ultimately just find me everywhere at kick tripod twitch.tv slash kick tripod twitter.com slash kick tripod let's right. hang out let's have All some right. fun uh, and please, if you're looking for a place to call home for Destiny uh, 2, uh, join our clan. Uh, it's uh, r2ocast.com slash clan. Oh, that's so right. nice. And you can find me at Pat Crane with a K uh, pretty much anywhere. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll play this. And you can join the conversations we're having at any time. You can always email us, uh, convertrate at gmail.com. You can call and leave comments and questions on our raid line, 612-787-RAID. That's 612-787-7243. Or the biggest one probably that you'll want to do is join the Bazooba Guabo Nation by heading over to convertrate.com, where we have show downloads, Discord infos, videos, audios, all that kind of jazz. If you want anything about the show at all, Head over to ConvertTorade.com. We probably got it over there. That's all I'm saying. Uh, we're also in all the places that you would expect a podcast. You can subscribe over in those areas. Google Play. Apple Podcasts. YouTube. Everything. Everywhere around the internet. Uh, Convert to Raid is produced and distributed by Signals Media. Make sure to check out all of our friends on the Signals Media All-Star Network at SignalsMedia.com. And that's going to be it for the show. Thank you, fellas. Thank you, Twitch chat, as always. And thank you, guys. No matter where you are picking us up, we like it. So please continue doing it. And hopefully we didn't um, go off topic too much tonight. We do that from time to time. John. 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 Hey, we're not going to name any names. John. Right? Gizmo. Pat, Pat was. Pat. Like, you looked uh, right at me. Yeah. We like, all. Right into my soul. That's where the camera is. All right. Well, that's going to be it for the show. Once again, for all the guys on Convert to Raid, we'll see you next time. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> it's all a hallucination. Mm. It's all hyperthermia. Hypothermia, hypothermia. Oh, it's true. That's it's why all they're the dream right before you die. Kick in the that's bucket. W- mm-hmm. That's why their company is named Blizzard. Like this is all this <laughs> they have had this plan since the beginning. Oh, by the way, do they do they blow blue fire all over the place? My god. Spoiler, that's a spoiler. That's a spoiler. That's a spoiler. That's a spoiler.